Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my law firm assists physician assistants with employment contract issues. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about the different types of malpractice options for a PA. So, uh, there are three main types of malpractice insurance for a physician assistant. Uh, first, uh, if the PA works for like a large hospital network, um, it's very likely that the insurance offered uh, will come from the network's self-insurance program. Uh, in those circumstances, it's very unlikely you would need tail insurance, uh, and obviously you wouldn't have to pay for your underlying premium either. Uh, the two most important types of malpractice insurance for most PAs are either occurrence-based insurance or uh, claims-made coverage. And so if the PA is an independent contractor, they'll have the opportunity to choose between the two of these. If they're working for a physician-owned practice, the practice will dictate whether they have an occurrence policy or a claims-made policy. And then if it is a claims-made policy, uh, somebody will need to be responsible for uh, paying for tail insurance. So let's just start with occurrence-based coverage. So an occurrence-based co policy simply means uh, that any malpractice incident that occurs while the policy is in place is covered. There's no need for tail insurance if you have an occurrence-based policy. Uh, an occurrence-based coverage is about a third more expensive per year than claims-made coverage. So if you are an independent contractor and you're determining whether to purchase uh, occurrence-based coverage or claims-made coverage, most of the time an occurrence-based policy will work out better in the long run um, as far as uh, you know, cost-wise, especially if you're gonna work for an employer for a short period of time. Um, and if you're working as an independent contractor, it's very difficult to determine if you're gonna work for a long time or not. So most of the time, if you have the choice in occurrence-based policy, works out in your favor in the long run. Now, uh, <clears throat> if you do have an occurrence-based policy from an employer, that's great. You don't have to worry about tail insurance. And then the employer is always going to cover the cost of your underlying premium. So the most important discussion is for a claims-made policy. And a, policy, a claims-made policy simply means a policy has to be in effect when the claim is actually made. So it's possible that you could leave an employer and then two years later, someone could sue you for malpractice. Um, the policy ends if it's a claims made policy when you leave the employer. And so there'll be a gap in between when you leave and then the last day somebody can sue you. So you need a policy that covers that gap and that's called tail insurance, also known as extended reporting coverage as well. Uh, so uh, cost estimate, uh, tail insurance is generally about twice what your annual premium is. So whatever your underlying premium is, so the cost to insure you on a yearly basis, multiply that times two, and that's a good estimate of how much you have to pay for tail insurance. It's a one-time cost. You do not have to pay it yearly, uh, but it will most likely need to be paid all up front prior to the termination of the contract. So if you're, you know, before your last day of work for the employer, they're very likely going to require the tail policy to be in place if the PA is responsible. Now, who pays for tail insurance just depends upon the language in the employment agreement. Um, it, it is a point you can negotiate uh, and it will be up to the PA whether it's, um, you know, in, I guess an important part of the negotiations or not. Um, it won't be an exorbitant amount for a PA. It is specially dependent, kind of who, what type of physician you're working with. But generally, um, like a normal PA's malpractice will be somewhere between like one and a half to 3,000 per year. But like I said before, it could be much more depending upon what kind of specialty you're in. Um, so that's a little breakdown of the malpractice options. You have uh, self-insurance for big networks and then occurrence-based coverage and claims-made coverage. Uh, if you have any questions about your employment contract or independent contractor agreement, feel free to contact my law firm at the phone number listed below in the description, uh, or you can reach us through our website, ShellyLaw.com. Uh, if you thought this video was helpful, like, subscribe to the channel, and we release videos every single day. All right, appreciate you watching this. Thanks.